Hello there guys and welcome back again here to my YouTube channel and for today's video, I am excited to share with you the ultimate accurate poison build for PBE. I know that some of you who have watched my video are wondering how GX player grind efficiently. In this video, I'll be teaching you the accurate poison build so you can level up faster and accumulate experience more quickly. This build is quite basic but it should help you to get started. And later, I'll be discussing with you the two possible new features here in Ragnar Origin. But before we dive into the video, I just want to give you a heads up that we are still providing pilot services discounted top up. If you are interested, you can message me on my Discord channel. Link is on the description below. And if you are new here to my YouTube channels, make sure to click the subscribe button so you can be updated on my latest upload. So without further ado, let's get started. To begin with, let's start with the totem. The best totem that we can use for this build is the Fatal Poison Rush, so we can accumulate Shadow Point faster. You can also check my other video to learn more about this totem. And just a heads up, this also boosts the attack of our poison skill which I'll explain later. Before we continue with the guide, I want to share some good news. It is possible that we can get a card preset upon the release of the third jobs. The card preset covers all of the equipment and has a duration of one month. And it also requires extension. There are a total of 16 presets for different scenarios and you need 50k or 50,000 zeni to unlock each preset. Next possible new feature is the Feather Balance Scale. To unlock it, you need a total of level of 60 for the feathers. For example, if we have a total of 10 feather statues, uh, you need all of them to be at tier 6 so that the total reaches 60. And once you achieve this, the Balance Scale will be unlocked. And the balance scale has two parts. The first part is level cultivation where you can receive bonus stats that will be reflected in your character. Next part is weight refinement where you can also acquire good stats. And when the level cultivation reaches the restriction level, you can continue to upgrade by meeting the corresponding refinement condition. Another feature is that when you reach a certain level of cultivation, new refinement socket can be obtained in the weight refinement tab. In the weight refinement tab, you can click a newly opened refinement socket to activate it. The good thing is when activating a socket, there is no consumption of balance weight needed. You can also change the stats in the weight refinement tab and have a chance to obtain rare quality attributes. These attributes can be single or with dual attributes entries. Additionally, you can acquire special skill attribute to simplify it. It's an akin to an enchantment system. For upgrading, you can break feather fragments to convert them into weight balance. And I hope that this information is helpful for your preparation for your future updates in Ragnarok Orgy Global. Now let's get back to the main topic of the video which is the first skill, Acrid Poison Detonation. By activating it, your weapon will be tainted with Venom and basic attack will have a 10% chance to apply an 8 second Venom dealing 1800% poison attribute per second. The Venom can only stock once and will explode unlike the poison stock that can stock up to 10 times. It will also give 500% poison AOE damage allowing basic attack to accumulate 1 poison when the venom explodes. It adds a venom buff to yourself and with each venom buff stock, your damage increased by 3% up to maximum of 5 stocks. Thank you. 
Next skill is Toxin Transmission. It's an AoE skill that can damage a maximum of 10 enemies in the surrounding area. It heals 5 poison points upon hitting a target dealing 800% non-elemental damage. Depending whether you learn Poison Stock or Detonation, there's a 60% chance to add Poison or Venom status. Next is the ultimate skill which is Toxin Storm. Uh, by using Toxin Storm, all poison points will be consumed and you will be immune to abnormal statuses during the attack. It performs 7 strike each strike dealing 450 non-elemental damage and depending whether you learn Deadly Poison Stock or Venom Detonation, there is a 70% chance to add Poison or Venom status. Accumulated poison can temporarily exceed the 10 layer limit dealing higher damage and the final strike deals 950% non-elemental damage and settle all self-applied poison and venom damage over time. It's effective in PvP scenario whether you use poison stock or acrid poison however the only downside of this skill is that you can be defeated before you finish all 7 strikes. Now, let's move on to the combo. There's no specific sequence required for the skill here. What you need to do is activate all the skill to accumulate poison. As for the auto skill, just include all the skill to ensure they activate quickly. For skill stats allocation, you can simply copy or mimic this build. The only difference between the skill of Acrid Poison and Poison Stock is that you can only activate one. Acrid Poison is primarily for grinding, while when it comes to team rewards, MVP I stick with Poison Stock since most of MVPs are single target. But when it comes to grinding, if you can already one hit using Toxin Transmission, you can just put Toxin Transmission on auto and that will be enough. But if you find yourself lacking in damage, you can just follow the auto skill setup that I use. And again guys, thank you for watching my video. If this video was helpful for you, is make sure to click the subscribe button to get more updates on my Ragnar Origin video. And see you on my next video.